The problem with modern self-esteem. So, what is the problem with modern self-esteem? Why is it that a lot of people who have such high estimates of themselves tend to be mediocre? In fact, psychologists have a term for one aspect of this personal overestimation. When it comes to our estimate of our ability to get things done and our general effectiveness, a lot of us suffer from the Dunning-Kruger effect. This is a cognitive bias that we have where we think we are superior in certain activities. When it turns out from a purely objective, test-based basis, we suck at them. It is not unusual for people to share their opinions about weighty political and economic issues that they have absolutely no competence in. Whatever conclusion they come up with is obviously going to be defective and useless. However, that does not in any way prevent them from speaking up anyway. The Dunning-Kruger effect doesn't just apply to online message boards, chat rooms, and Facebook comment sections. It applies across the board. We tend to have a cognitive blind spot to the things that we suck at. But this is just a manifestation of the modern focus on exaggerated self-esteem. In fact, a lot of us expect it to be some sort of door prize. It's not unusual for parents to say, you are special, you are worthy, you are excellent, with absolutely no objective facts to back it up, except, of course, the kid's feelings. The lesson here is these parents are teaching their kids an unmistakable lesson. Your feelings stand in for reality. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this is a very dangerous idea. Again, you have all the feelings in the world, and you could feel strongly. You may even be driven by the very best emotions and motivations, but none of that would matter if you can't produce results. I hate to state an obvious truth, but life doesn't reward you just for showing up. There are no participation prizes in life. You must hit certain minimal standards. You must win at a certain level. You must produce certain results. This creates a hollow self-esteem. This type of self-esteem is very brittle. It only takes even the slightest disappointment for one person's self-esteem house of cards to come crashing down. These people can't handle much of a challenge. If things get a bit tough, they're the first to pipe up and complain. They like to whine. If they think that's rough, wait, it gets even worse. Simulated or fake self-esteem leads to an entitlement mentality. I'm sure you already know that life is not fair. I'm sure you've already gotten the memo that life can often be chaotic. You may have all the best laid plans in the world, but the world just has a way of throwing those plans in the air. You may have everything mapped out, but suddenly something unforeseen happens. That's the way life is. It's chaotic. It's unpredictable. It's rough. And it's unfair. In fact, it can be quite random. Given this reality, the worst thing that you can do for yourself is to assume an entitlement mentality. You show up and you expect things to be fair, easy, convenient, and comfortable. What do you think you're setting yourself up for? Again, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that you're setting yourself up for a life of frustration, discontent, unhappiness, and a feeling that you are stuck in a world you did not create. You're not exactly setting yourself up for a comforting set of prospects.